Eminem just released a brand new record and I have a lot of thoughts. The death of Slim Shady isn't just one of the most notable records of this year, it is probably one of the most important. Mainly because it's the first major release since the whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar fiasco ended, but it's also important because it seems like Eminem is ready to call it quit. But let's talk about what I mean. It all began back in April of 2024 when Eminem announced that he would be releasing a new album. His first album since Music To Be Murdered By, which came out four years ago. And over those four years, a lot of things have changed including Eminem himself because the title of this album was called The Death of Slim Shady. And this caught a lot of hip hop fans by surprise. After all, Slim Shady is one of the most iconic characters in all of hip hop history. And honestly, if you ask me, he's probably the most iconic hip hop character. If only because what the character of Slim Shady did cannot be replicated by anybody else. And trust me when I say this, many have tried to be the new Slim Shady. But at the end of the day, there's only one person that can be Slim Shady, and he goes by the name of Marshall Matter. And honestly, it was just puzzling to think that he would want to distance himself from the character of Slim Shady. But that's what it seems like Eminem wants to do. Or at least that's what it seems. But before we continue with the video, make sure to hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 50k by the end of the year. And I'm confident that I could hit it. But the help would be appreciated. So if you don't mind dropping some support for the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Anyways though, fans were introduced to this era by the way of the song Houdini, the lead single of the record which presented what this album might sound like. And in classic Slim Shady fashion, it did sound like something Eminem would release around 2005. Which I know isn't necessarily prime Eminem, but it still sounded close enough to it. He was dropping the slick little jabs at different celebrities, he dressed up like Robin in the music video just like the old days, and it seemed like at the very least, the classic Eminem spirit was back. And even if the track had a mixed reaction at large, Eminem fans loved it, as the track not only debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, it also became the second biggest ever streaming debut for a hip hop song. The only song ahead of it by the way, Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. Which honestly did catch me by surprise because I do know that Eminem has a lot of fans, but I didn't expect it to be that many fans, and on top of that, he also released Toby alongside Baby Tron and Big Sean to hype up fans for the album. At this point, all that fans needed to be waiting for was just for the album to drop. And without further ado, let's talk about the death of Slim Shady. But I do have to admit, the record starts out hot. And honestly, I also have to admit that when it came to the lead singles for the project, I wasn't that impressed and that my expectations might have been a little low. I found out with this track, they were way too low because this reminded me of why Eminem is Eminem. The track might be just one minute and a half long. But personally, in terms of the flow, in terms of the lyricism and the energy that it carried, I think this is the best Eminem has rapped in more than a decade and a half. There were no forced punchlines or rhyming for the sake of rhyming. It was Eminem. And it honestly reminded me of why I loved Eminem so much. And it was a great sign for what this record was going to be. Because if you're like me, you thought that this was going to have some Slim Shady songs, but that this was going to be an album where Eminem came out and he explained, hey guys, I'm not going to be Slim Shady anymore. Can y'all accept me for that? I was wrong. And I mean, of course I was wrong. If you followed Eminem for a long time, you know, things are never that simple. In fact, Slim Shady raps over the entirety of this record, or at least most of the record, I should say. This is mostly explained through the skits, which I forgot to mention is very important in terms of understanding this record. Because for those who don't know, The Death of Slim Shady isn't just an Eminem album, it's a conceptual Eminem album. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I really can't think of the last time Eminem committed to a conceptual album the whole way through, at least not in the way that he did on this record. And keep in mind, I'm not saying he's never done it, I'm just saying it's been close to two decades. But yes, if you do follow the plot of the album, 
it's basically Eminem and Slim Shady having a fight over who gets to rap over the beat with mostly Slim Shady being the one that comes out on top. For lack of a better word, Slim Shady is bitching Eminem. And because Slim Shady has so much hate for Eminem, his one goal is to get Eminem canceled. What? Gen Z's trying to what? Cancel Eminem. Well, kind of. It's, it's more like Slim Shady trying to get Gen Z to cancel Eminem. It's not really Gen Z just canceling Eminem out of nowhere, you know what I mean? And honestly, I think it's a pretty good send off for an iconic character. Of course, we haven't seen Slim Shady like that since I don't know when. And honestly, I haven't seen this much of Slim Shady since I don't know when. Obviously, it is simple to say that Eminem is technically always Slim Shady and that Kamikaze was mostly Slim Shady, but I think it's a very distinctive distinction between the two. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like there's a difference in how they rap and what they rap. Like, if you ask me, Slim Shady really isn't the guy that's getting up close and personal about his feelings, you know? And what's a better goodbye than Slim Shady essentially pissing everybody off and blaming it all on Eminem? taking no responsibility and riding off into the sunset. And of course, I could get into more of the storyline of the album, but personally, I think if you haven't heard it, you should check it out. And if you have, drop a comment telling me how you interpreted the album and how you interpret Slim Shady. And if this is truly the end for Slim Shady, then I hope he rests peacefully in peace because I do know that he will not stay dead for long. As for Eminem though, I truly hope that this isn't his last album, mostly because Eminem showed a lot of fire in some of the tracks of this album. For example, Het Honcho and Renaissance are two of my favorite Eminem songs of the last decade and a half. And personally, if he could consistently rap on that level for let's say 10 tracks, 11 tracks, we might have a late career classic. And I know some of you might say that Eminem already has classics and that this very album was a classic. And I'm not saying he doesn't, but personally, I'm not feeling this album that much. Like I did think it was better than I expected, but at the same time, I hoped for more from a Death of Slim Shady album. However, I do think that this does open a door for Eminem to be more introspective coming in the future, and I'm really interested in one of those. Let's say an album where he talks like he did on the song Somebody Save Me. Because if I'm keeping it a buck, Eminem is 50, and I would like to see him grow more artistic. But if this is the end for Eminem, I think we all owe him a thank you for what he has done for the culture. And of course, that might raise some eyebrows because Eminem, quote unquote, isn't part of the culture or whatever. But personally, I do think he is one of the greatest rappers of all time. And he brought over one of the greatest careers that the landscape has ever seen. Anyways, I really wasn't going to talk about Eminem, but being that the album was as good as it was, I felt like it'd be a this honor not to do it uh i'm not saying i thought the album was great or honestly i didn't think it was good but it was decent and i expected it to be bad or terrible and you know i'm i'm happy it was decent at the very least uh with that being said though shout out to jay dilla shout out to me shout out to y'all and shout out to god because he the homie and yeah